Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have the MG69, which is Dax Assault Rifle Replacer. So, apparently a mod author named Dax thought the regular vanilla assault rifle looked bad. Felt bad, kinda, I guess, right? So we made a new looking model here. This is a combination of a real life gun, the MG69, I imagine, and what the assault rifle looked like. We can kinda combine parts and components of it to make it kind of a new looking gun. It is a functionally the same gun except for this version uh, shoots .308 ammo so that's a, that is a little different we can take a look at the weapon close up here we can zoom in on it on the textures and the model and stuff uh, we currently have like an extended barrel on there it's got a bipod not that you can use the bipod or nothing but it does have some interesting looks to it right there's definitely a lot more wood components here I mean obviously I've given it a wood stock and stuff we'll show off the differences a little bit when we get into customization and stuff we'll show off some different options and stuff some different attachments and stuff um, but pretty similar. The iron sights are obviously different. These are a lot clearer, easier to see iron sights. The weapon is functionally the same, sounds the same, but shoots .308 ammo, which I imagine makes it do more damage, but it doesn't seem that way. So obviously I have it automatic, but you can make it semi-auto or automatic or, or whatever you prefer. Advanced receiver obviously being the best. Just pure damage per shot type of thing. We got the marksman's barrel on here. We do have a suppressed barrel, which is kind of a cool thing. Right, like a built-in suppressed barrel, but I imagine, as it should, it disables muzzle attachments. But that's interesting, anyway. Just have a built-in suppressor barrel. Does sound suppressed. These, these iron sights are still not that good, because like, as you see when you're spamming here real bad, you can't see anything. <laughs> you're just like, I'm vaguely shooting at some stuff. Um, we have a quick eject mag currently on there, but you can still put the drum mag, all that stuff on there. Um, Recoil compensating stock would be technically the best way to go. You know, quick eject drum mag. But some of this stuff looks a lot like the quick eject drum mag looks exactly like the same thing from the assault rifle. And like I said, because it is a combination of those two things. Obviously, your sights are the same. Um, I have, you know, combat scopes because see through scopes and stuff. Um, but essentially the same stuff, the same looking sights. So if I put like a reflex sight on here, it looks very much just like the assault rifle one. And it, it kind of like a, the, mi the mix, the mix match. It's words are hard of aesthetics here is kind of a weird looking thing like because it's like a wood grainy metal-y kind of thing um, but you can do that still not you know good at max fire rate or whatever but there it is you know it is it is a new assault rifle look to it right it does have some cool things about it I think it does look better to be fair I do I do think that it looks better but I'm not a person who had you know complaints about the way the original assault rifle looked obviously some people do but most people's complaints about it is that um, that it doesn't look like the Fallout 3 Assault Rifle, right? Um, not that it, because essentially, this this is very much the same, right? I put it on attachments that are the same besides the barrel, right? And I think these are because I have these customized attachments. These are not default attachments. I have extra attachments. So I have to, like, figure out, like, I think Marksman stock is actually the best stock, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the best you can do. And, um, but the drum mag looks the same. Uh, the suppressor barrel is kind of a unique, interesting thing, and then I wanted a tactical automatic receiver, something I think I've added to the game, like an, as an extra step. I think advanced automatic is as best as it's supposed to get in vanilla, so I think this, yeah, that looks, see, that looks like all one unified weapon. So you got to be careful with that if you do have mods that affect the thing. Um, but it still looks like the default assault rifle with like a new barrel and a new stock, right? Kind of. is uh, That's the wrong gun. <laughs> there you go. Um, right? Like, that's like very much regular assault rifle parts strapped together to some other weird weapon like there's like screw holes in there and stuff that don't fit so it's like it's kind of weird I don't I think that's supposed to be the advanced automatic receiver is supposed to exist right so I'm trying to figure out um, like a powerful automatic receiver something that looks like it belongs to like that looks like it belongs to the weapon right like so it doesn't but then you, you pull it out it's, it's got like a weird coppery kind of color to it like a brass color to it but just the, the drum mag is obviously going to look different and stuff. The reflex sight looks like a different kind of metal, which makes sense. Obviously, you, you, you wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, this metal doesn't match color with this metal, so I'm not going to put it together in the apocalypse when I'm just trying to literally fucking survive, right? But it is what it is, right? Somehow the automatic is more clear to, to see. But yeah, I mean, it's going to function similarly to the assault rifle here. I don't think it is actually doing any more damage, which is a negative, I think, in this particular circumstances. Uh, I don't know because I haven't exactly looked, but this is this is seeming right to me that the .308 is not making it do any more damage, and it is just a, it's a harder to find ammunition. There's less of it than 5.56, right? You know, 
So it's, it's an interesting setup here. We're going to test the weapon out in some combat. I'm going to look up some stats for the regular assault rifle and then compare them. And I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, everybody, we are here outside of Diamond City going to my Zombies Arena Arcade mode. I have looked up the stats for the regular assault rifle. This is not doing any more damage for what I consider to be inferior ammunition. I believe it is heavier in survival mode as well, 0.308. So it's, it's just, that's that's a tweak that needs to be changed. Either don't change the 0.38 in ammo, or if it's going to be changed to 0.38 in ammo, make it do more damage. Uh, let's spawn in some super mutants. Sure, why not? We're going to fight some big, heavy, tanky things and try to see how this assault rifle do. Obviously it's full auto, but suppressed barrel, but it's suppressed. But this is definitely not functioning better in any metric. I hit the wrong button. Hey, don't be shooting your lasers at me. That's not very nice. Um, it, it is mostly just a cosmetic difference. Um, whether that cosmetic difference is worth it or not is up to you. God dang, fire your laser weapons. You suck ass for doing that to me. <laughs> a ghoul's slayer. A ghoul slayer's disciples strapped left leg. It's so fucking hard to say, but fuck that. That's a bad legendary. It sucks. Sucks to suck, I guess. I should reload. I mean, especially because it's that quick. Right? But, like I said, it's going to absolutely function here. Just like the vanilla assault rifle. I think I heard one to the left. Maybe there are these new ones in here. But I mean, it, the assault rifle is a good weapon. Right? Don't get it twisted. This is very good. But, it is this mod is mostly just a cosmetic difference to make it look... Closer to uh, a real life weapon because people really hate what the assault rifle looks like in Fallout 4. And if you hate what the assault rifle looks like in Fallout 4, maybe this is the mod for you. Maybe this is like a look that you can get behind. You're like, yeah, 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 this is what I want my assault rifle to look like. Then this is the mod for you, right? But it, like, it doesn't fundamentally change the attachments, it just changes ammo type and look. And it, it's a cosmetic ammo type change. Like it doesn't actually improve or, or decrease the function of the weapon. Um, so if that seems like something you guys are into, you can check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda on that page, or the Nexus mod page, and then you can download this mod for yourselves there. There's a weapon to expect for those people who just need to see that shit. <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating down below. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, that way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.